Hello viewers and welcome to a fresh new episode of E-Time, the show that gives you your weekly dose of entertainment. Well, every week we try to bring you all the latest from the world of glitz and glamour and we try to make this show more interesting and more entertaining for you. Exactly for that reason, we have a surprise for you this week. We have a very special person in our studio this week. Well, he is a very popular actor from the region. He is the proud recipient of numerous accolades and also enjoys a very huge huge fan base. Well, no more surprises. We have with us Kapil Bora. Kapil, please. Welcome to E-Time. Thank you so much. Please have a seat. Thank you. Okay, uh, so Kapil, this is E-Time. This is a show based on entertainment and every week we try to talk about all the latest happenings uh, that is happening in Bollywood, in Hollywood, also in regional cinema. So first of all, I would like, like to ask you this question that uh, talking about Asimus cinema, so what do you think is the prospect of Asimus cinema in this present world right now? Well, see, Asimus cinema is very old. We started very early in the 30s and it's come a long way. But as you know, all regional cinema face certain challenges right. all over the country right. and a lot of problems and hurdles. But in spite of all the hurdles and uh, all the problems that we have faced through the, uh, through the ages, we can call them, uh, I think uh, we have kind of overcome them. Uh, there was militancy, there was piracy, then there was uh, a lot of aping of what was happening in Bombay, mm -hmm. a lot of other things were happening. But in spite of everything, every year we have been winning national awards and every year uh, there have been films which have been big hits and there have been films which have been widely appreciated by right, right. both the classes and the masses. So it is growing and I am sure it will grow and it will grow, go a long way in uh, furthering the cultural field in Assam. And since you are a very senior actor from the region, all the newcomers that who are trying uh, to make their mark in Asimus cinema, what is the advice or suggestion you would like to give them? Uh, well, I'm very small to give any advice or suggestion. No, you are not actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, but I think, uh, well, everyone has their own journey to, you know, uh, take on. And so, uh, but first of all, I think if you want to be a part of cinema, a little bit of training is important mm -hmm. and that training can come A by means of an uh, institution or B by uh, working with uh, senior directors or senior actors. So I think uh, if you want to be an actor, you have to gather experience by means of theatre mm -hmm. or by means of an institute, otherwise it's a little difficult. But first and foremost, you have to have the passion for cinema. Right, right. That is most important. Right. For any, in fact, not just cinema, for any job, you know, passion yes. for that, passion and love for that particular work that are, you're doing is very important. Yeah, so that's a driving force. Right, yes. exactly. And uh, since you talked about theatre, you, you also do, a, a, you are also like associated with theatre. So if you could uh, just tell our viewers uh, something about your latest projects that you're working on right now. Uh, I've been associated with theatre for a very long time. Right. Even before I was doing cinema, I was in theatre and I got my first role in cinema by Bittu uh, Chakraborty because he saw me in, in a play. So I've just completed, I started my own production house, it's called Kapil Boran Company. Mm -hmm. And we did a very nice play, uh, the play was Ahar, which was Orn Horma's, uh, one of his landmark plays. And uh, it was also the first play of the absurd in the history of Hasmi's theatre. Though it was written in the 60s, it was an excellent play, it's still very, very relevant till this time. And so uh, we did that play and after that I've just completed another play called Momor Ghar yeah. by Himendra Kumar Borthakur. Both the plays have been directed by ace uh, theatre personality Abhinash Sharma and that this play we did it under Zarifa White production. We yeah. just completed that mm -hmm. play. So I think I keep on doing plays because plays are where you understand yourself as an actor, mm -hmm. you know, where you uh, rehearse, where you practice and you do things over and over again. So that's where you hone your skills. While in cinema, you just go to the sets, uh, do your own homework and go to the sets. And there isn't much time. You have to do instantly, everything instantly. But uh, in, a, in a play, there is lots of rehearsals happening. So, uh, so, so that's how you evolve as an actor. Right. So a couple, let's talk about your Filmfare moment. You had uh, got this Filmfare award for uh, your film Dwar. So if you could just share those memories with our viewers today. Well, that was the first Filmfare of the East. Right. And uh, we've all grown up on Filmfare and Filmfare award is so very, very prestigious exactly. for all of us. So uh, uh, when uh, Filmfare announced that they're going to do the awards for uh, in for Assam as, Asami cinema as well, for Assami cinema, Bengali cinema, 
and Uriya Cinema mm -hmm. that was done together. It was called the Film Fair East, mm. and uh, it was held in Calcutta. And uh, uh, there were a lot of people from all all the industry, all, all the three industries, and also people from the Hindi film industry were also there. And so it was a glorious moment. Uh, just before my award was announced, the Best Actress Award was also announced, and that was all, and uh, that went to my co-actor from Duar Zarifa. Yeah. And I thought the moment her name was announced, I thought my chances are gone because okay. uh, there were just four awards for Asimi Cinema, uh -huh. and one award had already gone to Duar for Best Film, and so my. Uh, Zarif had got uh, the best one actress. Best Actress Award, and I thought that my chances were nil. <laughs> so, but the moment my name was announced by Biju Bhukan and Malaya Goswami, I was very really delighted and I was very happy because I got this award for a film called Dwar, yeah. which is such a relevant, which is such a film which was much much ahead of its time, created by the stalwart Biju Chakravarti. And I still feel that even after 30 years, 50 years, when people will see it, mm. people will see Dwar, they'll realize. What a great filmmaker, film filmmaker Bindu exactly. Chakravarti was, and what a progressive and uh, modern film mm -hmm. Duar is. All right. So, Kapil, uh, we'll uh, let our viewers uh, have a look at that clip and uh, show our viewers going to relieve uh, those beautiful moments. So, viewers, have a look at this beautiful filmfare moment by Kapil Bora. The best actor male goes to... Goes to... Kapil Bora. Kapil Bora, film Duar. Again, Duar, door. Congratulations, Kapil Bora, for your performance in war. Would you like to say something? And I can't believe that I'm getting this award from my hero, Biju Pukan, and uh, from my teacher, Malaya Goswami. It's indeed such a, such a huge, huge honor for me to get this award from their hands. And I'd like to thank Film Fair for looking east and thinking that uh, incorporating our part of the country along with the national mainstream. Thank you so much. I think this is going to be a huge, huge encouragement for us to make better films, films on the, with the, at par with the national uh, industry. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my director, uh, the amazing Bidu Chakravarti, for believing that I can do a character as challenging and as difficult and stuff as this character I did in Duar. I'd like to thank Munmi Chakravarti. I'd like to thank my producer for Sanjeev Narayan for believing in a film which, was, which is much, much ahead of its times. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank my family, uh, the entire cast and crew, Zarifa, who's an amazing and selfless co-artist. Thank you, Zarifa Wahid, for this. And uh, the entire unit of Duar. And I'd like to thank my family, my father, who single-handedly brought us up, and uh, my brother, Tuku, Priroda, Ratul, and uh, all of them, all the people I love were with me. And uh, thank you very much. And I'd like to dedicate this award to my mother. I think I've got my artistic genes from her. Though she left, left me when I, was, uh, when, I, when I was five years old, I think uh, this is for you, Ma. And uh, I dedicate this to my mother and to the movie-going audience of Assam for believing in Asami Cinema. Thank you so much, everyone here at Film Fair, and uh, everyone, thank you so much, all the lovely audience present here. Thank you very much. Joy Ayohom. All right, so Kapil, we have uh, talked about your Film Fair moment. So uh, what are, are, you, are, you, are you active on social media? No, I'm not. I'm You're not. not? I've just got an official uh, Facebook page, which is also managed by someone else. Okay. And I'm not very, very... So you don't use Instagram no, or anything? No, not at all. Not at all, as of now. But I plan <laughs> to use Instagram because yeah. there aren't too many things being said on Instagram, only pictures. Yeah, only pictures yeah, and videos. That, that I, I like, but when you're talking too much, I think you're wasting a lot of time mm. and you know, you have lots of good things to do in life. And, uh, 
especially Facebook people are watching, uh, constantly watching what others are doing, what others are wearing, I think. Exactly, exactly. It's a wastage of so time. So we'll talk about it since uh, you said that lots of good things to do. We will definitely talk to you about that. But uh, now that we are talking about social media and that you are not very active on social media, I have a small package for you, which I think you like. Okay. Uh, so have a look at this package. Uh, uh, viewers, it's time uh, for this new segment on eTime where every week uh, we'll try and give you a quick glimpse of our celebs' latest Instagram. Instagram posts and this week too we have selected for you some interesting and adorable seller posts and we have zeroed in on top 10 seller posts this week so check it out. Bebu is enjoying a good family time in London and posted a perfect family picture on her Instagram page. She captioned the picture perfect post as hashtag family lunch hashtag London Diaries. Amitabh Bachchan Big B Amitabh Bachchan is a very busy man and is constantly on the move for work. Senior Bachchan has recently posted a video of his road trip from London to Glasgow on Instagram. He said, driving from London to Glasgow, starting my new film Badla, been on the road for 6.5 hours, another 3 hours to go, reached finally, long drive but cool. Varun Dhawan Varun Dhawan is taking his upcoming film Sui Dhaga's promotion to another level. Varun posted a video and this is what he did. You are doing the picture of your hands. The picture of your hands is on your hands. The name is Sui Dhaga. Don't cut my head. Nice. I got out of here. Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka has posted a very interesting video with her mother on Instagram where the mother daughter duo is seen giving some valuable skincare tips. Live a beautiful life. My mom is the most important person in my little black book. Since she was a little girl, she always took care of her skin and made me realize since I was a little girl the importance of it. As I grew older, I realized how much, you know, these little tricks and these amazing secrets that she had um, were integral to my skin. And we're gonna do a DIY little secret recipe um, that my mom taught me for your skin. This is Upton, and that's like the consistency of it. Yeah, and then what you have to do is just rub it a bit as it is drying to remove it. Okay, so I'm definitely putting this on my face today. Do you want to try it with me? Yeah, we can go do it and watch a film. Mask, movie and vino. That sounds like a good date night, mom. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. What are you Kangana Renault. Kangana is all set for her next release, Mental Hair Kya, and Kangana's recent video on Instagram is quite funny. Ekta Kapoor is seen asking the team, what are they, who are they, and all of them shout, mental. Promotions, you see. Bipasha Basu Actress Bipasha Basu in her recent Instagram video is cute as a button and she is seen using this adorable filter. Jacqueline Fernandez Well, Jacqueline is quite a popular star and her popularity has well been captured in her latest Instagram video. Take a look. Shahid Kapoor, soon to be father for the second time. Actor Shahid Kapoor posted an adorable picture with wife Meera Rajput. Shahid captioned the post as love. Karan Johar, Karan Johar is the single right, father of adorable that. twins Father's and he recently had posted an equally adorable video of his twins on Father's Day. This is what <laughs> the video is all about. Hello, we got some reaction. Happy Father's Day, my two beauties. Oh, mwah. and 
Shahrukh Khan, a Bollywood badshah, is quite active on social media and keeps his fans entertained by giving them glimpses of his life. Well, take a look into his recent post where he says, "A film never finishes, but so many beautiful things come to an end around it." Thanks everyone for a very fruitful and hectic shoot. Hashtag zero the film. Entertainment desk, Northeast Live. All right. Hope uh, you all like this package. And uh, Kapil, uh, you saw this uh, short uh, uh, package. This was a short uh, package on social media, and all these celebs they regularly post pictures and videos for their fans. So, are you inspired? Yeah, I'm inspired. <laughs> I, st I have a yeah Instagram. I'm inspired. Yes, yes, that's very nice, and you see a lot of good pictures right. and. Nice happening, but I think I still like to stick to my work. But you know, we would like to see you on Instagram. We of would course. like to see your moments, your life moments on Instagram. So please, shall I promise please, you? Yeah. That? <laughs> <laughs> Any weird fan moments that you have? A lot of fans. We know, we know that you have a huge fan base. But any weird or scary fan moment that you have encountered or in, in during all these years uh, that you yeah, particularly remember? Yeah, there was once uh, when I was just starting out. There was this. Uh, uh, she was a doc. She was uh, she was she was not a doctor till then, but she was uh, training to be a doctor in De Brugger. And okay. there was this girl, and she used to constantly send me uh, things. And but because she didn't know my address, so she used to you know send it to uh, people who I might know. You know, some, <laughs> so she used to send them to um, uh, journalist Maini Montor, to actress Malaya Goswami, and she used to send Prasad. I know what Prasad that was. I never oh had God. that Prasad. Okay. And she used to write. Uh, and there was another fan who used to write in blood. I oh I don't God. know, but I, that scary. must be yeah, yeah, that must be blood. Scary. I didn't like that. That was very gory yeah. for me. Yeah. And uh, but otherwise, fans have been very nice. And especially, I enjoyed the times when uh, they used to send letters, fan mail. You know, I yeah. still have those fan mail. I I think I still have them, and uh, that was a very nice period of time. Yes. Right. And uh, talking about, let's talk about your songs. You have uh, starred in so many songs. So, if I ask you any favorite song that you like, uh, which one would you like to recall? Uh, well, uh, there's so many actually, but uh, one song which comes to my mind instantly was my first song. The first song I shot for that was for my debut film, Gun Gun Gane Gane. Mm -hmm. That was the title song of the uh, film. Uh, that was a very nice song. That was very, very Assamese and very cinematic. Uh, that's what that song I like. That yes. song, the okay. title song of Gun Gun Gane Gane. And uh, time now for a short break. We have lots more to talk to with uh, our guest this uh, this uh, week, uh, Kapil Bora, and we also have some interesting stories for you. So stay with us and stay tuned and keep watching Northeast Live. Well, uh, viewers, we are still in conversation with Kapil Bora. And Kapil, uh, as we had uh, said uh, earlier when we started the conversation, that you said that you're not very much interested into social media because there are so many good things to do in life. So what do you do when you have time? for? Uh, what do you do to relax? Well, uh, uh, social media, but I am uh, hooked to YouTube. I like watching a lot of stuff in YouTube. But uh, other than that, I read lots of books okay. and I listen to music mm -hmm. and I watch movies and that takes a lot of my time. You mm -hmm. know? So these kind of things I do. And I watch a lot of travel shows. And that's okay, it. so you yeah. like you like watching travel shows. So do you also manage to travel apart from shooting? Yeah, uh, yeah I travel a little yeah. bit here and there whenever I get the time. Otherwise, okay. But time is a little uh, is right, right, right. scarce. So. <laughs> All right, so when was the last time you traveled? Uh, last time I traveled was uh, just a few weeks back. I was at Cherapunji. Mm -hmm. And that and was for work? No, that was a pleasure trip. All right. And uh, we were staying in a nice place which was absolutely land's end and beyond was Bangladesh. And, okay. You know, it was beautiful. Beautiful. I liked it. Yes. 
All right. So yeah, we all, 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 all of us has like so much stressful life these days, and especially celebrities, their life is too much stressful. They don't get time. And we have couple a very beautiful uh, story this week uh, because we all need time for leisure and we need time time to relax, to enjoy life, have fun. And uh, when it comes to living your life to the fullest, our Bollywood celebrities are not left behind. They also know how to manage time and how to have fun during work so here's a small clip uh, of all these uh, beautiful uh, our uh, Be uh, bollywood celebrities who are having a gala time during the work so enjoy this And between the hectic schedule, those little light-hearted moments and naughty pranks just make lives easier and of course memorable. Take a look into these special glimpses from the lives of our celebrities and how they enjoy lives in bits and pieces every now and then. All right, so Kapil, that was uh, a very fun uh, story. We saw celebs having fun and also they are indulging in some pranks. So have you like indulged in pranks during shoots? Uh, but others have uh, done, I've seen others doing a lot of pranks. Hmm. But personally, I've not done uh, too many pranks. <laughs> Uh, okay. But we enjoy Not ourselves. Not too many, but you have, I Yeah, guess. Once, once in a while, yes. Okay, so can you, can you like share with uh, us? <laughs> I don't remember very exactly, but sometimes we, you know, uh, sometimes when um, we used to hide the costumes or something and, mm -hmm. you know, suppose there was this great continuity scene which had a uh, Suppose the actor was supposed to wear that shirt for a scene and, uh, that has continuity and that has to be worn by the actor and suddenly we, uh, you know. That costume vanishes. Vanishes <laughs> into thin air and okay. so he's looking and it's, uh, so those kind of small, small things we do. And, yes. and what are the, what are the pranks that people have played on you? On me? Uh, not too many. Uh, not many, actually. I, I don't remember anybody playing any pranks on me. Okay. During shoots, at least. Okay, yes. okay. And a couple, uh, we talked about Bollywood. We also uh, talked about social media. So, talking about Hollywood, do you like watching Hollywood movies? Yeah, I like watching all good movies from anywhere, any part of the world. Mm -hmm. I just need to know that, that that's a good film that's and I can learn film. a lot of things from them. Right. I watch a lot of good films, international European films, in the festivals which are held here. Mm -hmm. 
anywhere, wherever I get a chance, I watch films. Films are my passion, yes. And uh, do you also love watching animated movies? Because we have a, a very uh, nice movie coming up. Uh, in fact, it has uh, hit the theatres, Incredibles 2. Incredibles, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Right, so uh, do, you, do you watch uh, such movies? Uh, uh, not too many, but I used to watch them a lot. Okay. But I still like watching Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Tom and Jerry, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's a, a universal God. favorite. That's yeah, a, yeah. Everybody loves Tom, Tom and Jerry. And Jerry yes. Right. So actually, Kapil, uh, we have this story. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a story on uh, this uh, Incredible 2, which has just hit the theaters. And I think you would uh, love to watch this small trailer from uh, Incredibles 2. For sure. So, for yeah, sure, so yes. because Incredibles, the Incredibles made a massive profit uh, when it uh, hit the Bastard. theater. So, uh, just like the first part, uh, this uh, second version of Incredible Story is also expected to make massive profits. So have a look at this beautiful story. Did you wash your hands with soap? Incredibles 2 has Did finally hit the them? theaters. The animated superhero That's film produced by Pixar Animation Studios and I distributed so by Walt Disney Pictures is the second installment of the, the movie franchise the and is one of the most time. loved animated movies worldwide. Mom's new job. It's time to make some wrong things right. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need to change people's perceptions about superheroes, and Elastigirl is our best play. Better than Written and directed me. by Brad Bird, Incredibles 2 follows the Barr family as they balance regaining the public's trust of superheroes with their civilian family life, but they have to combat a new foe who seeks to turn the populace against all the supers. Do I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Mm, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Wow. Is she having adolescence? And Jack Jack? <laughs> Following the massive success of The Incredibles, the film's second installment too is expected to make huge profits worldwide. Is freaky. You know it's crazy, right? To help my family, I gotta leave it. To fix the law, I gotta break it. You've got to, so our kids can have that choice. Thank you, young man. Combustion imminent? What does that mean? Ah! It means fire, Robert. Entertainment Desk, Northeast Life. The screen slater interrupts this program for an important announcement. All right, viewers, hope you like this story. And uh, Kapil, we would have loved to talk more with you, but you know, we are running short of time. So, as you said, time is scarce. We, we don't have uh, time right now, but we would love to have in our studio once again. Please do come to E Time once again. It was a for pleasure sure. having you. It was a pleasure talking to you. And thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. and, uh all the best to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, uh, viewers, that's all we have for you in this edition of E-Time. Hope you all like this episode. And this is your host, Amrita. Thank you for being with us.